Christmas in the front, party in the back. <laughs> yeah. It's the iconic hairstyle we love to pretend we hate. But, but the, we don't hate it. But despite growing and declining in popularity over the years, the mullet has never really <laughs> gone away. <laughs> And come February, wow. mullet heads from around Australia will be coming together in the tiny town of Curry Curry, New yes. South Wales, to take part in the annual Mullet Fest. And here to tell us about it is Mullet Fest organiser Laura Johnson and her husband, JJ. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. Oh, thank you so thank much you. for having us. And uh, can we start by just saying you're welcome, Australia. We yeah. are so <laughs> glad that we brought the mullet back. And. Uh, <laughs> You know, as a, as a hairdresser by trade, I really feel like I've contributed to uh, Australian culture. Well, even just within your family, your husband, your father-in-law, I think two of your four kids. I mean, that is a commitment to the mullet yeah. that goes above and beyond, isn't it? Proper Australians. <laughs> Look, it really is. You know, we're, we're a dedicated Australian family, that's for sure. You've got your arm around um, a particularly amazing mullet there. Can we just go in closer on that, on that young fella? I mean, this is... We do. This is Max. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Yeah, just shake it all Isn't out. Isn't that glorious? <laughs> look, look back and you can just Shake it off, Maxie. Now. now show us your smile. Oh. He, uh, smile. he definitely works the mullet there, Carl. He, uh, he's, he's a little Summer Nats champion from last week and he's, he's pretty happy about it, let me tell you. <laughs> big smile, too. He's trying to teach his big brothers a thing or two about stage presence. How does he do the eyebrows thing like that? It's <laughs> Look, this is, this is months of practice, absolutely months, and I think he's going to be devastated when that front tooth grows back because uh, all of a sudden it loses its redneck status. Oh, well, happens. give us a big grin then if we, we've lost the front tooth. Yeah. I yeah. think this could go oh, on we've for lost a the while. Front tooth. There you go. It's hard to do. <laughs> I'm starting to get a cramp. Um, tell us about what you're doing there too because it looks like the whole town's doing it. Amazing. I can definitely make people laugh. Look, it really is. We get amazing support from our beautiful locals here in Curry. A couple of them have, have gotten out of bed early this morning and, and shown up to uh, to place. support the mullet and also support the pub. So, um, yeah, that was that was the whole point of Mullet Fest was um, a way for us to, you know, create a tourism injection into the town and and really sort of help save our pub and help save our town. So we're certainly uh, we're certainly proud to have put Curry on the map. Laura, I want to know how do you judge you, you, a, a mullet? Yeah. Like, how do you determine? Which one is the best? <laughs> Look, there's so much more to it than meets the eye. Yes. Um, our judges have a criteria and they have a score sheet. Um, so they judge on condition, they judge on um, length and style, they judge on uh, your full stage presence, so, you know, outfit counts and all that sort of stuff. Um, and then and then attitude. So, you know, obviously our little Cletus here would uh, get bonus points for attitude, I think. Um, but... <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, they, uh, the, the condition and the shine and all that sort of stuff comes into it. You've also got a little baby that um, <laughs> looks to me um, out, to, out to, the, to the left of you. Um, that, we do. That's we do. I'm not sure that she. I'm not sure that she counts as a mullet, but no, she is actually our mullet fest baby. She was conceived just after the first mullet. Oh yeah. Her, yeah, uh, yeah, her yeah, amazing yeah, mum Sarah. Yeah. Oh, her yes. amazing mum Sarah actually came up with the idea of mullet fest. So mm. she uh, she wondered if boys compared their mullets, and so we all have Sarah to thank for this wonderful festival because she works tirelessly behind the scenes um, to to bring us all but this. Can, fun. I mean, the, the reality is that girls get into it just as much as the fellas mm. too. I mean, well, Miley Cyrus is rocking one at the yeah. moment. So, I mean, she's clearly heard about the Look, festival. Look, honestly, Whoa. that's exactly right. I mean, and for us, it's, you know, it's such an honour for Miley to have kind of mullet. Our first mullet fest, we were actually lucky enough to give the winners tickets to go and meet um, Billy Ray Cyrus, which Whoa. seemed to us like just the most perfect oh, cliché yeah. prize Don't ever. Um, so now, if Miley's watching, we have a seat on the judges' table for you, Miley. Come on down to Curry Curry and get amongst well, it, because we're very, very proud. I, I think um, it's, it's amazing. Like, I think Alex oh, looks a little bit oh, like Billy Ray Cyrus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't tell my heart. <laughs> well, Ellie, heart. Oh, God, that's OK. Don't you think you understand? <laughs> The problem is yours, yours looks very real. Yeah. <laughs> it is real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is. And, and Alison looks like a Supreme Court I justice. I like need to include karaoke now as part of the challenge. <laughs> hey, um, thank you so much for that. We appreciate all of your energy. Um, this is a terrific fundraiser and also it's just good for this country. So well mm. done.
It really is. Good, yeah. clean fun. Thank you so much for having us, guys, and we're looking forward to making a big, fat donation to the Mark Hughes Foundation this year again. Just before we go, Amazing. can we have another look at that young fella's eyebrows? Are they still going up and down? Uh, one more, Cletus, please, right into the camera. <laughs> I love him. Everyone can't not laugh at it. That's actually hard to do. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah. Every camera Thanks, Cletus. Yeah. And uh, Marlott Fest will be held at the Chelmsford Hotel in Kari Kari on the 29th of Feb. So for more information, you can head to mullotfest.com.au. Um, I tell you what, there are more mullets out there than, mm. than we knew about. Yeah, we have. We've been inundated yeah. with uh, mullet picks. Uh, Mitchell has grown out of uh, his, oh, he's oh. grown out of his mullet, look at that, uh, for a good cause. Pleasing to shave it off to raise money for the RFS. Good on you, mate. New beauty. Beautiful. And it doesn't get much more true oh. blue Aussie oh, yeah. than a oh, Look at oh, that. Beam, oh. Our, oh. our cup runneth over. <laughs> and Todd, Todd sent us this photo of his Oh, I like oh, it. Mullet oh, mullet oh. Mullet oh. Mullet. Oh. And this is, uh, this is Matt's oh, majestic God. mullet. That is <laughs> majestic. Let it flow. It's majestic. <laughs> It does. This video of his glorious mane saying mullet for life. Oh, yeah. Oh. Shake it off. That's poetry, isn't, isn't it? it? <laughs> you just want to run your fingers through it. <laughs> Do you? <laughs>